Hello everyone, my name is Bree and welcome to Document to Journey. Today I'm going to be walking you through what I'm going to be using as far as journals are concerned for 2022. Yes, just journals, not sketchbooks. I know this looks like a lot, but let me explain. Okay, so I have divided them into two different piles, four on this side, four on this side. And I did that because this side is kind of whenever I want to use them and this side is every day. So let's start with this pile first. These you have seen last year, they were the exact same covers, exact same notebooks, and they're for the exact same person. So this is my daughter's notebook, this is my son's, and this is my husband's. With my daughter and my son, I will be completing those this year. They picked out these covers a couple years ago, and these are the two covers they picked out this year. This is my daughter's, this is my son's. I have a blank Hobonichi inside, and this is what I will be journaling um, in when these are complete. I love the Hobonichi covers because of all the inside pockets they have. I stuff these full of little bits and stuff that they give me. I fold up pieces of paper, notes that they give me, anything like that inside here. If they get older, I could see myself going to a bigger size because of all the paper that they want to give me, pictures and things like that. For instance, I have some pictures that my daughter gave me just the other day, and some of them I want to keep, but I can't shove them in here unless I fold them up. So it's just a thought. I don't know if I'm going to do, be doing that, but these are A6 size and they have the blank A6 uh, Hobonichi notebook inside. So those are these. Again, no pressure with those. I just use them whenever I want. Uh, whenever I have something to write to them about, something like that. This right here is my reading journal. I don't think I've ever talked about this on the channel before, but I love to read and my kids have been getting into reading as well. I mean, they are six and seven. And so, you know, reading chapter books and stuff has been becoming really fun for them. So I have actually been reading aloud a bigger book. Right now we're reading The Girl Who Drank the Moon and that kind of made me realize that I probably need to start a reading journal because I'm reading multiple books at once, so it gets a little confusing. And plus, this gives me a place to... I have always documented what book I'm reading, but I've never actually documented what I thought of it, how I liked it, and all that kind of stuff. So, for instance, I have pages right now uh, mapped out for when I reread The Hunger Games or Harry Potter or something like that. And then I also have already done pages of 2018 when I read those. So this is kind of what it looks like. I'm going to continue on with this. And this gives me a place to kind of write how I feel about it, but then also come back to it and um, look at it when I need to, because there's been times where I would like to know what a book is about and I've forgotten. And Googling it sometimes doesn't always do the trick. I don't remember how I felt about it. So that's why I started this. And I pulled some of my older books off of my Goodreads account, which I don't really use anymore, but I wanted to put it into a paper notebook because that's, I feel like that's gonna be easy for me, easier for me, we'll see. Okay, so now we have these. These I'm in every day. Uh, let's start with this. This you'll never see. This is my kid's homeschool. It's just a regular bullet journal. I pretty much put the date at the top, and then I, um, I kind of write what we did. These are just random notebooks that I have put inside here that I would like to utilize for homeschooling. This one is not. This is going to be a prompt book, kind of like Heather Mattern has done. I will leave her channel in the description, but uh, she does prompt books and that's what I'm going to be using this for. Uh, but this is going to be my next little bullet journal for the kids, just keeping track of their school. That way, if someone comes wanting to know what I've been doing with them, I have documentation. So that's what this one is for. You'll never see it. I don't really do anything fancy. It's just highlighter and pen and that's all. The next one, 
is something that I'm in every morning, and that is this. This is my morning pages. I use a decomp spiral notebook. Uh, it fits in the moleskin extra large Kaye notebook covers that I have on my website. Um, this is something like morning pages to me. I write a page a day, that is it. And I really have been loving this process. And the cool thing is that this pocket right here, it fits an A5 uh, insert, perfect. So this little notebook right here is my work and planning for uh, documented journey and or Patreon and it fits really nice in here and I absolutely love that. So that one I'm in every single morning. It's more like something that I just throw stuff at. Um, I also will take notes if I am watching a video that I really kind of want to take notes about, then I will do that. This, oh, maybe I should talk about these covers. So these covers are by me. I'll bring these back. Um, I have a thing for wheat. This is wheat, the natural color. And then um, I like to accent the wheat with some pockets. So this pocket is honey. This is imprinted fronds. Wheat just has like a special velvety touch. This is plum. And then on the inside I have, which is actually discontinued, but this was um, a pattern from my website. And then... Am I going to do this one? Yeah, this is Honey on Honey. This is my, what I've been calling my authentic self journal. Um, I'm using it more like a bullet journal. And I am doing just prompts to uh, figure out myself, kind of. Um, I have created a couple spreads. I wonder if you can actually see that. It just has the date, how I'm feeling, and then a morning intention and an evening reflection. I'm really trying to do this daily because my mental health just, you know, um, ebbs and flows. And I'd really like it to not go up and down so much. I'd really like it to be more consistent. I am talking a lot about this over on Patreon. It is really personal and not that I don't think that you can get personal on YouTube. I just don't feel comfortable with it. And so that is why this is kind of going to be strictly on Patreon. Like I said, I am using it like a bullet journal. As far as bullet journals are concerned, this is an Archer and Olive. I can maybe pull it out. It is a linen, green, olive green linen. Um, it has this on the front. I actually don't care for this paper as much as I like the dingbat journals. I'll get one of those. This is a dingbat journal. I love these. They are cream paper, which I prefer too. They are dot grid. Uh, they are eco-friendly and vegan. I just love, I have a little pamphlet here. I just love everything that they um, stand for. And uh, I'll be using that next because, uh, like I said, I love the cream paper in here. The only downside that I don't like is that the pages are perforated, every single one, in this particular series. They have a few different series. This is the Wildlife Collection. The Earth Collection does not have perforations. It also has uh, more bullet journal features like the index and things like that, and the pages are numbered, where this is just strictly a dotted blank notebook. So this is what I'll be moving to next. I have mapped this out. This should take me about uh, six months to get through, and so I'll be using strictly Dingbat after that. Um, well, I shouldn't say strictly, but this is my next journal for this authentic self. Um, and if you are at all interested in Dingbat journals, I do have an affiliate uh, link and I have a coupon code for 10% off. I'll list all that in the description box for you. Um, you click the link and then you can enter the coupon code and you'll get your 10% off. So uh, if that at all interests you, it'll be in the description box, like I said. So that's what I'm doing for my authentic self journal. Again, it's all on Patreon, a little bit more of an in-depth view and some flip throughs of my spreads. My last journal is my Hobonichi Weeks. This is my memory keeper. 
So I used two things in here, which is some kind of highlighter or Tombow and the Uni Jetstream. I like the 0.5. I'm not gonna do a flip through in here. You can see photos of this on my Instagram, uh, but it is a memory keeper. I am just doing a peak and a pit for the day. And then um, on the right hand side, I'm tracking dinners. I have a tracker and I'm doing a weekly review. Uh, I do did get the mega. So I have all these pages in the back and I have been journaling in them. However, I wouldn't say that I'm enjoying it. Uh, mainly because I'm journaling on a hump already and that depresses me kind of, but I'm going to finish this out through the year and I will figure out if it's worth it or not. Uh, I don't like to give up on journals, so I will stick with this guy. So these are all my journals for 2022. I know it seems like a lot and it probably wouldn't be this much if I wasn't on YouTube. Um, most likely I would condense it down to maybe all these being in one, all these three being in one, but since I'm on YouTube and I need to, or I would like to censor information, that's how, that's how this has happened. I know these work for me. This is pretty much the same lineup that I had last year. Besides I added this one and I added this mainly just because I've been through it for the past couple of years and I need to really focus on me again. And so that is why this journal is around. But for the most part, all these journals I've used on a regular basis all of 2020 and 2021. So I don't see myself struggling. Um, but if you do, it's just a journal and it's just a tool to help you. And if it's not helping you, then stop. You know, if it's overwhelming you, then stop. We'd love to know in the comment section what you're using or maybe what journal you're most excited about for 2022. I have a favorite and uh, it would probably be this one, my authentic self journal. Uh, I'm so excited to develop new spreads for it and really play around with how I can utilize it in my life. Um, and then also I'm really excited to see this week's fill up. Uh, if the journaling pages don't work out for me this year, then maybe next year I just get a regular weeks. Maybe the, the thickness uh, is just bothering me. So, all right. Until next time, I'll see ya.